in game one, Fnatic versus TNC. I mean, who are you guys rooting for, man? Who are you guys rooting for? On of Ohio? If you're really rooting for Fnatic, obviously, for TNC, let's go with the Pog Champ. Alright, so... Introduce first, 1, 4, 3, 7, playing on the Ogre Magi, Tim Sunder Slada, Raven, Marana, Sam H, Omni Knight, with Kukudusa. Dire side for Fnatic, you have Ohio on the offlane Tiny, Pylai Die on that Rubik, he's had a great game on it, DJ on the Tuscar, Abed on the Abed Voker, and Envy on... can go anyways. You want to set up a lot of side lane kills. Getting fat. Maybe laid out the sun strike. Just scouting things out. I want to see. I don't think cataclysm should be used in play. I want to see how Arbet skills invoke it. Because I'm trying to learn the hero again. What's LGF? I know it's GLHF. But what does LGFH potentially stand for? But okay, they will. Rubik set. I like this Rubik set. Cards thing is pretty cool, like a Joker, you know? Kind of reminds you of Suicide Squad Joker. The hair. It does. Up from TNC. They want to perhaps want to try and con. Other. Thirty seconds. for some five second arrows. Thanks. Bit tough, I have to admit. Because the battle. Begins. Got a lot of fanatic fanboys in the chat, don't we? But I'll bet we'll pick up his his bound tune. Okay, he's just gonna I wanna be safe. Just in case the Mirana arrow came around, you know. Of course with Pylite helping him block the creeps, he's gonna get a pretty decent block. Against a Dusa, this will be a bit of a tough time with 1437. Obviously, he's gonna be sitting mid, you know, just messing around consistently with Arbet. It's what the it's what the ogre is meant to do in the middle lane. Picks up the Orb of Venom as well. Pi is there to help dissuade. That kind of aggression, or at least deflects part of it away. Laying out the Ignite already. TS Lolo, Pi actually getting that range creeps. But like I said, it will be Ohio against Sam H matchup. Not sure where Envy's he wants to play for. A bit of a lane swap perhaps. But early on, you know, as an invoker, you don't really have that many ways to deal with this kind of dual lanes yet in the middle lane. Which is why Invoker at the first few levels has Extremely weak cleaning presence. I'm gonna walk the whole way. 289 movements. Very slow. Tiny 3 in 1s. Yes. Dusa is also not exactly farming too quick. It's just about trading the hits right now. I'm trying to burn each other's region. Low. Like, really low. I'm trying to force each other out of lane. You know, Pyra even went back for the Fate Vault instead of Lift. 1 for 3 7 could just run him down. Why not, right? He has the movement speed advantage. He has the orbit venom. Armor. Knight. Armet probably forced to tell very soon. Picking up his points in Quas. Wouldn't be surprised if he went into the two points in Quas. Ohio would just mess around the same hitch right now. And, you know, DJ is still trying to mess around with the pull, making sure that pull doesn't get properly pulled off. But it's okay. He can leech this EXP as well. He doesn't really care. Lift back, like I said, he just wants to mess in a Cuckoo. At this point, it's all about trying to burn each other's region, like I said. Consumable's about to run out on Cuckoo's side, Arbet as well. He actually bought his own Radiant set of tangos. The Forge Spread is something which you don't want to trade too many hits in, but okay, DJ actually catches an arrow and looks like he will actually end up giving away first blood to Raven. 
Good job with the arrow. It was our Leaving the... Cyclops mouse picking class. Last I checked, I wasn't from Thailand. Wanna know TNC? I'm. I don't know. I'm feeling. I'm feeling the Abed Volker this game. I feel like it's a good Invoker game. Now they want to go for Pile I Die. They have the haste in there. Looking for the crush. Crush lot. Tims? Right there for a close snap, but 1 for 3 7 is actually falling quite low. Lots of heroes are falling very low. Abed doesn't have enough mana for the Sun Strike, unfortunate. But he's okay, you know. 14 2 on this. Rana with the first blood. Raven's fat. One fat kitty kitty cat. Nothing Eight and four to the Dusas. Fourteen and three. I mean, that's all you can do, right? I actually am curious how this Razor versus Omni Knight matchup is going to be. I mean, it's not something that we often see, but mo at least for today, we've seen it like, like already once with Miracle versus Sam H. So if you're Sam H, you, the bit of an advantage, I guess, is that you've already played against Razor. You kind of should be able to know how to play against it. But Abed going to try to jump here onto the Cuckoo. Do they have a cold snap? Yes, they do. Yep, they will use it trying to get the hits onto Cuckoo. The snowball and the... Sorry, not the snowball, the shards and the lift. Uh, trying to bait. Uh, trying to bait. But Abed, he's going to be okay. And Pile Idai getting himself a lovely kill. And of course, with his tangos and quads, he's going to regen up just nicely. One kill to Pi. The mid lane is sort of a bit more open for Arbet. Try and look for the, the Ignite on 1437. Doesn't want his clarity to be broken. Tangos to Arbet as well. I guess the biggest thing right now is being able to stand in for fights, right? You want to close snap this? I don't think so. Just wants to burn some of their mana away. Alright, so Tim's as well hasn't had much luck with the gank. Put up his stick though. Walling in, they want to go into Cuckoo with the shots. They have enough damage though. They actually will turn around for 1 for 3 7. They have the cold snap. 1 for 3 7 should actually be dying here. Yes, they will. DJ getting the kill. 2 for 1. And the kill score and Fnatic are looking quite strong. Arbet still refusing to leave the lane. The Quas Exhort, no, no Wex Exhort this game. Yeah, I guess it makes more sense to go for that this game, especially since you won the region. The Tango, look at that. He's basically almost full HP. In this aspect, he's able to out-sustain the Dusa if you bring in more heroes. No time for Sunstrike kill. Samish just trying to cut the creep wave. Nice and easy. They are looking to all right going here onto runner lifting back into the air ohio has to oh throwing his big tree into his face we're getting a nice double crush out here looking for the arrow follow up won't exactly land by raven going for the star storm second star storm will land to a creep not into pile i die unfortunate trying for the fade bolt as well pie man he's really pushing this tower actually might actually kill him here yes he will die now we're going to fight under the tower over extension to the max. Tossing him back to the creeps. But it's okay. Tim's has to sprint. Looking for a snowball play. They're going to turn around to Tim's, I feel. Tim Serino has a crush. Arrow's going to fly out. Tim's will get a double crush. It looks like to bait it. But Tim's will toss him Ohio. It's going to be a two for two trade. I don't know. It's a three for one trade. Sorry. You have to remember that the Rubik died earlier on. And they actually can make it to the shrine just in the nick of time. Abed had a Sun Strike available. Probably could have helped out a bit, but Tim's and 1437 will go for a smoke gank. They have a hate. Left leg. Right leg. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. The scan, they know that 1437 and Tim's were looking for a smoke gank. The heroes just disappeared off the map. Yeah, they had a ward there as well. They're kind of setting up, but look at the look at the positioning. Yep, using the Forge Bird, it's scouted at 1 for 3 7. He's gonna be running all the way in, but hiding inside the trees is Abed. Very nicely done. They can actually turn around for 1 for 3 7. Won't even need the co snap, but they will give the kill here to Abed. Sweet and nicely done. He's actually quite fat considering 
how the first few minutes went. We haven't talked about the off lane too much yet. Sam H, level 5, still in level 3 and 2 in the purification and degen. Razor having an advantage. Actually chose to max out the static link and unstable current. No points in plasma fuel. 4 to 4. It's all the same to me. I actually do wonder if TNC will allow Cuckoo to play Invoker. I want to see him on Invoker this one. Capable, if he's capable. And Eternal Envy will spot out Tims and back under his tier 1 tower. They know that there are a few heroes. But over the bottom lane, Raven getting caught up by Ohio trying to toss him away. Maybe? And my toss is on cooldown. Finding opting to go for treads. No soaring arrow. Gonna be caught by the creep. But if DJ coming in, perhaps they could think about going here onto Raven. Top lane Envy, you knew that there were three heroes there. What are you doing? Crush? Purification, maybe? They want to give the kill away to the Omni Knight? No, they're going to give it to Tim's. Alright, so Abed picking up a point in Wex just in case he needs to go walk away. Knows that there isn't a sentry, he also knows that there isn't a ward behind the tier 1 tower. Paladai could start with a telekinesis if Cuckoo steps a bit too far further forward. Yep, telekinesis lifting him into the wonderful play of into the Sunstrike as well. Cuckoo taking up the media. Sunstrike's gonna miss, but it's okay. Cuckoo's dead. Body blocks, body blocks. They have the right click, they have the cold snap, they have the alacrity. One more right click. DJ, never mind. Paladai gets the kill. Sandwich is here with the purification nuke. Tries to turn around for DJ. Chasing after him with the face boots and the bloodlust. Trying for the shot block. Won't we ex really get it, but Envy Minot does get one kill into one for three seven. So two for one. Very nicely across the map. Getting these good trades. Pyrus just throwing his tree. Here, take this. Jump. Denied. Slaughter just wants level 6. With the corrosive haze, perhaps they can make it easier work of some heroes. Abed's gonna get a minus, and he's halfway there. Phase, Aquila, no magic one. Going for the first item, for staff. When we saw his... Who did he play again? He went for Heart and Blade Mill. I actually forgot. Oh, it was a Gyrocopter. Yeah, Blade Mill. That was, that was funky. Static Link, but hold on. Pile I die. I'm actually end up turning around for Tim's. They know that Envy didn't get the Static Link damage up, but they're still gonna try and rack it onto Tim's anyways. Are you sure? Crush, Purification is there. Envy will actually end up dying. He has stick charges, but he's definitely dead. Blocked by the creeps. Tim's gets the return kill. Hi puts a word down, Tim's, they want to go for this under the tower, they can. Chasing after him, sandwiched between Sam H and Tim's. Oof, have a Sam Tim sandwich. Getting the full proc here on Abed, that's a ton of damage. Even though you had the range up, but still you had the full magic, full bounce proc. So that's a proc, yeah, it's about 35% increase, maybe about 275 damage. 6-5, about there. NVT being to the top, they want to try and contest TNC's lanes, but TNC are looking quite solid. And Raven has had a very quiet lane for now, he's 4.3k net worth. Almost feels like they figured out they can't really lock him down. Dyer's top tower has been denied. Razor will get the top tier 1 deny. Corrosive haste available for Slaughter. NV wants to try and go for this Sims kill, going for the static thing play. Tons of damage here, looking for the crush. And Razor's just looking to steal some Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Right. But Pilot are looking for the telekinesis lift. They have the snowball. Gonna connect and lift him out. Boris punch. That will be about it. Chase. Yep, they definitely want to chase Sam Hage. Lift. He's stunning up. We're looking for the media play. And no one's gonna land onto the creeps. Media lull. Very preemptive play. You all use his Midas already pushing out the wave. The, uh, the Abed Volker will start to put more pressure as TNT will feel like they're on the clock. So this is basically the classic battle between Invoker versus the Dusa. So is it the Abed Volker or the Cuckoo Dusa? Hyo trying to build his drums. For 3-7, just wants boots at this point. He is level 6 with no boots at 12 minutes in. Very poor. Phase and... Well, uh, he actually going back for the Mask of Madness build again. I takes an ignite. First troubles to take that bounty rune. Probably gonna find two. Has his jumps complete. 
That right click, ow. EJ, we got a double damage on a bound two, and they can go for a smoke here to try and find one hero. Could, did they want to? I think they actually could kill the Marana even, even without smoke. They could just go right in or even kill, say, Magi. Could toss. Abed getting some very nice farm. Tim, close to a dagger actually. 300 gold away, he is fat. Sam H just hanging around at this point. He's just playing the babysitting role, making sure that Tim's gets that dagger. Hi, just wants level six. Look up here, I'm still waiting for that smoke. Could. I think they could have been just waiting for the jump. Uh, but still behind this Mirana who has been free farming the whole time with the Bloodlust. And of course with the Deep and Aquila, they can take the tier 1 tower, take a bit of damage out at least. And if Tim... extremely close. Let's wait for two more, let's wait what, like one more minute I guess. Get the both bounty runes, get the creep. Easy. Alright, Ohio and DJ will look for one kill. They could look to try and stall Tim's blink dagger timing. I think they found it, but he's on the run looking for the snowball. Tim's running all the way. Caught by the shot. Trying to get the crusher. This could be big. Sunstrike and... Oh, won't even get the Sunstrike. Ohio's just going to bring him down and Tim's is dead. They're pinging out saying, hey, there's a ward here. That's how they got the snowball range because night vision basically means you should not have been able to see that hero. Over the bottom lane now, maybe thinking you're trying to contest, going for the cold snap, telekinesis his lift. Do they have enough damage? Raven's fine. Getting the stun up, looking for the arrow. They will get the tower deny, but it should be able to kill the Rubik as well. Looking for the star storm just to get some damage off. No way to save his teammate. I'll better have to watch helplessly and build his way towards that Aghanim Scepter. Dire structures are fortified. Selfish. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Alright, so they're gonna try and pressure this tier, tier 1 tower. Corrosive phase onto Ohio means he has no armor whatsoever. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Rough game, you know. Tim's. Yeah, he's, he has his blink dagger now. This, this is good for him. Gonna pretend like he doesn't have it. Warriors punch. Going to Samage, looking for the arrow. It's gonna fly in the wrong direction. One for three sevens here, messing with a DJ, and DJ will have to accept his fate and die to this Omni Knight. TNC looking very strong in this game one. TNC, he's found the ward exactly. He's like, found it. They ward it. Now we'll have a dagger. Scanning out the Omni Knight. They know that there's someone mid. No tier 1 towers left standing for the side of Fnatic as they continue to try and buy more space for Arbet to farm up his Aghanim Scepter at 15 minutes. Dusa, meanwhile, has been farming the whole time. Cuckoo almost has that 4 staff after this Mask of Madness. Jump here into the Pylai Dai Rubik. Tim's could think about going for it. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. We'll chase after the slaughter. Almost on level 4 sprint, then we'll see that 700 movement speed in the river. Contest the bounty runes. Hayo gonna try and jump here onto the Medusa and knows that it doesn't have much mana. Looking for the Sun Strike arrow, everything's actually gonna miss. But the arrow actually caught by the Ogre Magi. I'm gonna turn around now for Ohio to reduce the corrosive haze on him. One more right click and it will be enough. Good kill here for Cuckoo. Take care of the ward as well. Rana finds Highlight Die, man. It's a lot of damage actually from this Raven. And at this point, right now, it feels like Envy is probably regretting not banning out that Omni Knight. Tim's looking for that one stun. They need to buy more time for the Abed Volker. Still hasn't even completed his point booster. They just just farming out the top lane. Looks like they will give away this tier 2 tower for free. As TNC is scaling so quickly at 16 minutes in. 6,000 gold advantage to boot. They can. Right, Raven. Medusa is the story, the highlight of the story right now with 8,500 gold. I'm about to make.
Hello to all of you tuning in on chat and this DMDLs. The qualifier semi-finals. So the winner of this series will go ahead to play Mineski tomorrow. And that's gonna be Who's gonna win? Will we see a match? Will we see a rematch? That's the question. Will we see the rematch between Fnatic and Mineski? Or will TNC be the ones to say, hey, nope, you're forgetting about us? Uh, lurking inside the enemy jungle, they will look to pressure the top tier too. As the top the bottom tier one will go the way of Ohio. Haven't seen Envy really come into play just yet. He had a great start in the lane. Yeah, I mean, balance seven, 700 movement speed, guys. Trying to start the Roshan here for TNC. They are thinking about it. Raven already took top tier 2. They can go together with Raven and the Medusa. I think they actually have enough damage because of Corrosive Haze. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Yep, going sh The phase? Hold on. Okay, Sunstrike is going to scout out the Roshan attempt. So they kind of know what's going on, but the thing is they don't have the heroes to kind of deal with it at the moment. It almost feels like, you know, Tiny f fits the, the criteria for farming off lane. Not someone who really participates in fights and creates space like a Tide Hunter would. Feels like. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Tier 2 taking siege damage, but they want they definitely want to fight up here. Looking to Tim to start the fight, at least to force the issue. It'd be an easy tier 2. Ohio has a shadow bait up, throwing out his tree onto Cuckoo. Doesn't actually give a hoot. He's just like, alright, cool. Cool story, bro. And they will take a free tier 2 tower. Dyer's middle tower has Raven continuously catching up. You know, 9,500 gold. Extremely farm. Sanj and Yasha now onto Sam H. Fnatic are just having to deal with the cancer which they have been dishing out, at least in their past few games. Volka will finally have that Agonims on the way. He just needs to Corio to get to the secret shop. Smoke gank out from TNC. They could find many, many kills. They have a good observer ward over here. They should kind of know where they are. They should have known. That's why the Fnatic are just about to enter the jungle. Smoke break. One night shadow gonna be popped, looking for the crush, they get the corrosive phase, looking for the arrow, Tuscar is dead, DJ, one, two, three, Raven, easy. You no, know, Ohio trying to pressure out the bottom lane, doesn't know that Cuckoo is nearby. Will Shadow Blade away, doesn't want to I think Slaughter and Medusa together could actually kill Ohio. Ohio's picking it out, They're trying to trying to bait Cuckoo. The mana shield is off as well. Haste. He could. I mean, Medusa's so far out by herself. Slada's still so far behind as well. But it doesn't look like the rest of TNC want or the rest of Fnatic want to try for this kill. They're saying it's too, probably too tanky, too risky, and not to mention because Medusa has an Aegis as well. Envy just wants to get his BKB. TNC grouping already, no more out of towers left. The next key is high ground. Where did pop drums? Probably wanted some bass. Motivational music. Do we have the tools to break high ground on the cuckoo? I don't think he actually wants to wait for an IL Scotty before breaking high ground. They just need to find one pickoff and that's enough for them to go high ground. But they want to try and siege the enemy jungle. They have wards that they know that Pilai die. Just went on the way back looking for the arrow to land. Oh, it's gonna connect it to Abed. Where's the jump? Tim's going for it and going all inside the base. Abed getting the nice, beautiful double crush. You can get Pilai die as well. Pilai die is dead. They can find DJ. Just diving the enemy tier 3 casually. Cuckoo with the double. And Envy is almost dead. Looking for a few more right clicks. Envy might actually die here. Never mind. Makes it back in time. And with the double buybacks out. Crush. Corrosive Haze. What an arrow coming out from Raven. And one way to just break the bank on the side of Fnatic. No invoker for 30 seconds. Fortification will be used. They still have an Aegis. 
All right, Dusa is fat. Ohio's gonna try and wreck this. Maybe try and get a stun out here. Toss him all the way back to the tier 4 towers. They have it. It's okay. Envy stealing some of that damage away. They pop out the Guardian Angel. Ohio gonna be saved. Never mind. DJ drags him back into the snowball. But this Aegis will finally break. Envy getting stunned up by the arrow early on. Cuckoo. But he popped the stone gaze now. Couldn't choose to stun up. But actually, Raven will get the Envy kill. And Envy will probably have to buy back from this if they want to try and fight. Having the repel stuff onto Cuckoo, they're going for the tier 3 tower. Why not? Tornado coming out. It's gonna completely miss. How about looking for the sun strike? I mean, the cold snap EMP, never mind. Four staff away, and they almost bring the tier 3 tower down. They're happy with what they got. Two buybacks. That's big enough if you are TNT. Extremely happy. 13,000 net worth advantage. The cores are just so massive. Now Kuku can probably think about. BOT is on the way for Abed, so the greedy build, he wants to just split open the map. Alright, so... Next on the Dusa after the Scotty. No, not too sure just yet, but this Marana, Hurricane Pike already. I mean, everyone's just so big. You can do whatever they want, right? Oh, I'm also trying to split the map up. Yeah, this is just... Clash of interest when it comes to farm priority. You guys are looking for Cyclops, he is on the main B. His daughter. But here in the Southeast Asian qualifier, you know, Sam Hage, taking care of the creep wave, Ohio will find him. And just immediately TP out. The prize is mine. Uh, they were smoked out, looking for some potential picks in their side of the map. Doesn't know about this observe ward over here. The sneaky ward, sneaky ward is just being placed to scarlet these kind of, so that you can properly. S okay, so it's gonna carry this game at this point. I said that it's off the lanes, and this Medusa is just. A full 6,000 ahead of this invoker. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Tiny going back into a solar crest. They just want to take the tier 1 towers, then maybe perhaps they can open up the map, try with the smoke. We'll try for the smoke gank. They want to try and make a play happen here together with the invoker. Something they need to do. Where will they go? Where will they kill? Not sure just yet. I mean, it's so difficult. They smoke just to push up the top lane. They have a tier 1 tower there as well. So, I mean, I guess they just want to get there quicker. Now Lincoln's completed into Cuckoo as well. He actually chose to go into that one defensive item so that he can't get jumped as easily, which is which is pretty good. Tim's to make some more beautiful plays. I like how he held the crush early on so that he could get the Rubik's done as well. Looks so like they're about to get the tier 3 tower. It's another EMP looking for the four steps out. Okay, dodging everything. And all is good. All is healthy. They put they know that it's a ward there. Looking for the toss back again. Hello, there was a sentry there, Ohio. That, that sneaky play won't work a second time. Just like that, they will probably try to get that one lane of Rax. Arrow flying in, not able to do anything much. They will break the Lincolns. Snowball coming in. Oh dear, oh dear. DJ, DJ, that's not that's not the way to go. Oh, beautiful Avalanche actually catching Tim's in the crush. Curse of Haze going to be thrown onto Ohio. But no, they're definitely going to get this melee Rax. Gonna break the Lincolns one time. And it will be a full lane of barracks going the way of TNC. Happy what they got, no risks involved, and they will go for a shrine. Alright, so shrine taken out, and it looks like Fnatic. They are the ones who are now playing from a 20,000 net worth disadvantage. Pen Arbet pull whatever is in, you know, with all that experience in any, perhaps.
Playing able to play 4v5. Goes into the blink dagger instead of boots of travel instead realizes that yeah his team does lack initiation. So he is the one who actually may have to initiate for his team. You can see he Now TNC, perhaps they can think about taking the top shrine. Roshan's up in th 35 seconds. They can slowly play this out. They have the farm advantage. What they can also do is just... Alright, and I'll bet it's going to keep out. Trying to build into an Octarine core. And now another smoke coming up from TNC. Deuce's not there, but they could actually try to cut off Fnatic's advance. Like, they could get the Rubik, they could get the Tiny. Or even jumping to the base right now wouldn't be half bad, purely because the invokers alone, they could. Never mind. Do they know? Do they have a ward there? Yeah, that's that one ward. They they've they found him. Getting the crusher onto Ohio. Repel, Ohio is just dead in one, two, three. I mean Raven does so much damage. One for three seven will burn him down with the ignite, however. And Pilot die inside. Jungle, do they still want to try and fight this dip? They will go for counter smoke, Abed, DJ, and Envy. This is where this is the play they needed to make using a scan for both sides. I don't even know whose scan is whose, but they're just gonna TPI. They don't want to take the risk. And immediately TNC will dodge the smoke gank, the outread fanatic. And just like that, they can't do anything. It's gonna be a wasted smoke, a wasted wasted time. So, you know, farm not going away to up. I'm feeling the pain and TNC will take I could have hit Roshan like decide to try and contest the Roshan with one more smoke, which they do not have. And double damage here as well. You don't even need that double damage for the for the Roshan. They can go straight to the top lane, creep with his push as well. Big stuff, big stuff. Cheese and all. themselves game one or oh, they can actually just push them through the middle lane as well and they can just take that last range racks go straight for the top Tims, he's looking he's looking for those crushes Boy down should know there's no sentry a cuckoo will start in the front lines creep wave is already there and should be able to take that tier one tower so tier three tower these tornado coming out with the emp done okay Vector protection, arrow, connects onto the razor. Do they want to go in though? Sides waiting ever so eagerly. Double damage already gone. So like the plan is for Cuckoo is just to shove the middle lane in first so that they have different priorities and they need to decide what they're gonna do, Fnatic. And Cuckoo still happily stands on the front line. He doesn't actually care. Takes care of the sigil. Okay, the tower here to fall. Tossing him back once more. They want to kill him off. Punches him up into the air. Medusa's okay. Static thing to steal some of that damage. Avalanche fires that one more time. And with the disarm as well. Timing's a bit off, but hey, Envy doesn't exactly hurt that much. Even though he stole 253 damage. I'm not sure why. Alright, so now you're going to start pushing for this top lane. Rax, like I said, they will try to go for this tossing him back in once more warriors punch up into the air static link they just rinse and repeat but the double crush coming up from teams media's gonna fly out landing only onto one and there'll be one actually two heroes immediately dead on the side of fanatic what can they do teams with the follow-up extremely quick i bet going for the tornado play AMP into the sun strike. They will try to get Kuku down. They can't even lower him down. Ah, bad. The cross evades onto it. He takes way too much damage. Ohio's gonna try a right click sandwich, but Raven just does all these free clicks. Click, click, click. Down goes Ohio. And looks like DJ to fall him into the grave. Three heroes dead. Instant GG from Fnatic and TNC. Very quick game.